Welcome back. It's your favorite YouTube realtor, and today we are in Wellington, Florida. This house has six bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, and 7,800 square feet. This house is sitting on five acres of land, and it's asking $7,750,000. And I'd like to give a quick shout out to the listing agents, Jen and Betsy, for allowing us to do this tour. And you know what? I've already wasted enough time not getting in there, so let's just go ahead and get started on this tour. When you walk up the property, as you come up, the driveway space. So first of all, I got two entrances, one in the front, one in the back by the barn. And then on top of that, two car garage, and you got the beautiful front entrance. This house was built in 2005 and has been completely remodeled as you'll see in 2020. Look at this arch of beautiful vine. Look at, I mean, hold on a second. Just, you come home every day to this? I think it's time. So give me one sec. We'll come on in. And don't get alarmed. This house is furnished. It's just a few spaces that aren't. So this is like your main formal sitting area. You know, you put the grand piano, got the windows overlooking the actual pool. So makes sense to me. On my left, real quick, you got an office. This is a half slash cabana bath. Look at, look at the length of the counter access street outside, this artistic mirror, the light fixture, I mean, do I have to say anything else? Let's go back out. The master bedroom. I know you probably were expecting it a lot later on, but there's so many treats here. Let's just get started. Got your master bedroom space. Look how open. Let me just do a quick jog around here so I can show you all this space. Overlooking the pool and the stables in the back. Really cool. So down here, Walk-in closet on my left, walk-in closet on my right, and it takes you into the master bathroom. Sick, honestly. You got the connected dual sinks, the light fixtures in here again, just really opulent. And then, how about this? This whole walk-in shower portion with the pebble stones has a soak-in tub, window right here for some natural light, but fogged for privacy. And at the top, all you see is beautiful vines and trees and light and the, the blue skies, I mean, just this, this place is, just has it all, and you got the, the toilet just hidden. Let's not even talk about it. Floating vanity. I mean, what is it missing? Let's just get this thing going. So, as you're leaving, once again, you can see the pool. It takes us back out into the hallway. We're gonna walk a little further now, and as we come down, on my right, a den, or it could be another office space, takes you into the kitchen, and the kitchen has the most amazing features. It's like a chef's kitchen. Wolf's oven, dual wolf ovens, and then Sub-Zero fridge. So normally with Sub-Zero refrigerators, you see those big silver, like clunky looking ones? Not at all here. You have a glass door in front of the Sub-Zero fridge, freezer down below, and freezer on the left, and guess what? That wasn't enough for you? How about another identical? You got the screen so you can see right in. Freezer on this side, and these are both commercial grade, so you like to cook. You like to freeze, you like to refrigerate. Got 36 degrees for you. And then Wolf, six burner gas stove with this monster vent. I could probably light a fire in here. Well, obviously, yeah, it would just get sucked up in the vent. It's pretty sick. And uh, just more cool cabinetry that when you lift, microwave hidden down below. Just little cool things like that, why not? How about this, the dishwasher, when I tap, just, it goes slides open for me. And the only company that does this, Thermador. Well, I'm not sure they're the only company, but check it out. We got that blue light. I'm sure that's for killing bacteria, but how about we think about it for aesthetic purposes? That's nice. And this kitchen just comes all the way around and it leads into this side. You also have another dishwasher on this end as well. Pops right open. The island and all of this has a nice Sitting area with my favorite style of seating. It's like when you go to your favorite breakfast restaurant and you got seating right there. That door leads straight out to the backyard area, which we'll save for later. And then you have bar stools on this side and more storage over here. Here you get the dining room. Really, truly kind of like not as formal as you'd imagine in a good way though. Cause it's not like, oh, we can only sit here if we're having Thanksgiving. No, nope. this is a place where you can have breakfast. You can just have a quick steak dinner, anything. A typical Tuesday night because it's just nice and open and clean and fresh and it's got an amazing view of the whole exterior of the property. Before we get down to that room though, I'd like to go this way 
on my left. This is the first guest suite that we're really gonna take a look at inside. And just wanna mention before we go in there, upstairs, you actually have two more bedrooms, two more bathrooms, and a full gym. This house truly has it all. So as we go in, it takes you into the first bedroom over here. Got this beautiful swing. Is this an art installation or an, it's an actual swing? It has the hook up at the top, but look at this. Look how beautiful that is. And keep in mind, just for a guest room, if you stand on one side and I'll stand on this side, look how much space we got between each other. It's really, it's really nice to see like rooms that aren't so crammed and even just how the wall has like a back and it goes down, it's insane. And then the walk-in closet is a true walk-in closet. It goes down, mirror on my left. And then when we come down through that ensuite bathroom, it kind of jack and jills. So it goes from this to the next bedroom. And the cool thing is the backsplash up on this wall matches the backsplash on the floor as well. And you got your full dual sink Jack and Jill bathroom, taking you into the next guest bedroom. No complaints in here, very nice. And then the closet is just hidden neatly over here. And the entrance to this actually on the right takes you to a third guest bedroom. In here, they have it kind of set up like a, like a gym kind of training area, like, you know what I mean? That's nice, that hurt a lot. My arms, yeah, no good. We got a rope from the ceiling as well if you wanna exercise, or you know what, there's a million things you can do with this, but take a look at this bed frame really quick. It's just insane. And you got the walk-in closet over here, and of course, every be guest bedroom has it, your ensuite. So the entrance to all of these guest bedrooms and this one especially is just the living room right here. Once again, very informal in a good way. It just feels like you crash here, watch a movie on a Friday night. Huge 75, 80 inch TV on the wall. Just down here, off of this, you got a little ping pong. I, I mean, is it, it's an insult to call this piece of art a ping pong table because it's got that real wood finish and a leather band. I don't even wanna, Maybe it was a mistake to touch that. We got a leather separator divider between the ping pong table. And the best part about this whole area right here, it's complemented with a huge open window that you can close for privacy, but on a day like today, why would you? You would leave it wide open. You have to imagine that the outdoor kitchen is gonna be just as special, if not more special. And I think it is. So check this out. The floor as well has changed. It went from a light beech wood kind of finish to a darker, more outdoor feel. So let's just get started with what's out here. You got the fridge, a full indoor refrigerator, but outdoor for your convenience. Takes you down to your cooking station. This is where a lot of the cooking will get done. Huge vent above. You have the two burner gas stove top right over here. And how about this, a big green egg in the center of your island. I mean, I've never seen that before. Connected through the cabinetry like this. Looks really great. And you have this kind of farm style window looking out, letting us in natural light, a beautiful orchid to bless the counter with. And as we come further down, you thought that was the only thing you'd be cooking with? I'm sorry, I'm sorry you, we got the big Mac Daddy. Coal and gas on one side. And it takes you down, that soft close. If you don't believe me, it's very soft. Look how light this is, like it's very light. And you got the vent above once again. And then how about this, just like as if you were in a kitchen, cabinetry on the walls sink, dishwasher, mini fridge, and ice maker. This might, this is definitely better than my kitchen in the inside of my house. And we're on an outdoor kitchen, the best part, when you're out here cooking, grilling, having a good time, the kids sitting up at this bar stool chilling. The last thing I wanna point out about this room before we continue, pan up really quick and take a look at the ceiling. You have a kind of like a vaulted style, however, with the wood finish at the top. Just makes the room feel even more special. And you might be hearing that sound that from my mic, that waterfall sound. This hot tub has its own waterfall that leads down and exits into the pool. Once again, it creates sort of an atmospheric sound. So when you come out here, you don't hear anything else besides birds chirping and a waterfall. And then all of this outdoor space. You, you didn't have enough over there? I'm sorry. You got a big, big family. You put the outdoor dining table right here. Maybe an outdoor pool table, an entertainment space, anything. It's completely screened in. It's got these huge lanterns on this stone wall. It's really like an ideal spot for nearly anything. Shaded, screened in, what more could you ask for? And oh, I forgot to mention, 
salt water. No chlorine, salt. And then check this out. We come on out. This pool, I don't know if you could tell the size of it from the video. Look how big this thing is. Even the shallow area, it looks like sand leaking into a deep ocean. It just goes all the way around the property out here. Look, stand over there. Look, look how small I look. Look how big this pool is. You got access in and access from the breakfast area to just have a nice peaceful little meal out here. So down here, you might be wondering, you know, what is this? These are professionally designed agriculture systems. It's got the irrigation and you know what? You like growing herbs, tomato, basil. I don't know, that's like the only two herbs. That's not true, I know a lot of herbs. Thyme, parsley, all the peppers, you throw them right here and even got a little bit extra yard space. It, listen, it's a Sunday, everyone wants to throw the football around, boom, all this space, nature. But as you come down there, you have a, a pre-set path, yard on both sides. Look at this, this open sanctuary. As you're walking away from your main house, you're going, Jason, what's left? You showed me the main house. Follow me. So much to talk about out here. So that, that's the second entrance of the property where I came in. So basically all of this is parking space and down there as well, 12 stall stable, but we'll take a look at it properly through this way. So you even have like a little storage garage, throw the extra equipment in there. As you come around, this is the entrance to the stable. All this parking space, all this yard, all this land. And as we come up to the main entrance, you'll see, got the sign above the Lucky Day Farm. You even got the signature Lucky Day Farm golf cart to get you around the rugged terrain and check it out. So as you come in to the stall and the barn, when I look up this magnificent chandelier hanging from the ceiling, it goes all the way up. You got the stalls on each side. Coming out of here, we have, what do you want to call it? A 400 square foot room to view and hang out, maybe even an office if you'd like. As you come in, fully air conditioned and you got a great view of the horses and everything. So listen, it's a hot day just like today. Your horses are training. You don't want to be out in that heat. I don't blame you. You take a seat right here. You go on Instagram, you watch your horses do their thing and you're just doing your thing. You know what I mean? So as they come down here, fire pit down there, all the vines going across, your open training field. Down there you have five different stables. If you get like a new horse, they tend to jump a lot. So the fences over there are a little raised if you want to let them chill out. And then as we come down, I'm sure there's a way more technical term for all that stuff. As we come down, I mean, look at this. Around the pillar, this tree wrapped around. You know how long that takes to do properly? So we'll stop here at this chandelier, go down and show you the features that the stall has. You have the veterinarian service animal area that they back up, hot water, you know, make sure everything is good with them. And as we come a little bit further down, you kind of have like your trophy room. Because listen, you own this property, you have prized studs and stallions. And if we make our way near the end, you got a laundry room on one side. So laundry out here, you just got back from riding, don't bring the muddy boots in the house, throw them in here. You have a guest apartment waiting for you. Sitting area, TV, kitchen, bathroom, and full bedroom. Now before we get too lost, let me take you right back out. As we come down a little further, this is the other side of that long driveway entrance where, where I parked my car and it takes you into a horse treadmill. So your pony will never lose exercise. Nice and cool, fans, lighting, perfect place to let them bust out a few laps, you know, on those days. And then over here, I know you thought it was done. I know you thought I was gonna go on that treadmill and end the video. Absolutely not. The last thing I wanna show you, besides the guest apartment, you have a proper guest cottage. Let's go take a look inside. Are we at a, a, a house somewhere down the street? No, we're on the same property. 
Down there, you got two bedrooms and a full bathroom. And how about this, a kitchen. Look at the finish on this guest kitchen. Dishwasher, fridge, Thermador fridge. Microwave and Thermador stove. This is the main master suite of the guest cottage. Look at this, you got a sliding farm door and then the dual sink. As we come out of that bedroom, I think we've seen a lot. Let's take a look at the last, the last thing I'm gonna leave you with on this property. Keeping this with a true feeling of a guest house. You know what you have back here? A yard, because every house has a little yard. Take a look at this. It's fenced in completely. The whole property is fenced. I mean, what more, what more can I show you? So on that note, I'd like to end the video right here. I want to say thank you for coming on this long tour with me. I hope you appreciated it. If you'd like to see more tours just like this, feel free to subscribe. We're going to change vibes completely. Go from a house in Wellington with farms to a penthouse in Miami. Things like that just happen. Feel free to check out my other videos and uh, Oh, thank you. I really appreciate you guys, by the way, supporting the channel.